Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show how to get users from Azure AD to ServiceNow. Let's see start integration. Log in to the uh, Azure portal and go to the groups. Let's see how many groups are there in the Azure portal. There is only one group called uh, Test Group One. Okay. Let's create another group, Test Group Two. Okay. Uh, it's type like uh, security test group two. We can enter the description, anything, whatever we want, like test group two for testing or something like that. We can add it. Okay. Uh, Azure AD roles can be assigned to the groups. S or no. Okay. Not really now. Okay. Membership type assigned. S. No owners are selected. Let's select the owner uh, called. Um, uh, name, uh, shape, uh, this owner we can assign and select no members. Okay, members can be assigned. Uh, let's see the members like uh, uh, we have like uh, adult bad bands. Can you add it here and in, in this group and let's select. Okay, one owner selected and one number is selected. Okay, let's create it. So there are two groups called test group one and test group two. Okay, so let me refresh it so that you will get a test group two. Refresh, refresh. Yeah, now you can see test group two. Okay. And there is no email is assigned to it because it is a security group and this group type is like Microsoft O365. That's the reason you can see the email. And here this is we don't have license. This is the only security group, so that is the reason we don't have any email. So now we will try to import these two groups in the service now using Azure integration. Let's see. Log into your personal instance. So uh, log in to your personal instance, okay? So to connect uh, with Azure, we already have a video how to connect with Azure portal. So please watch it. I am adding in the description, okay? And on top of it, I can explain you on brief, like go to the application registry, okay? Uh, go to uh, Go to application registry. After opening the application registry, click on Azure portal. Like I already created this application registry. What we need, client ID, client secret, all this URL. Once you got all this URL, you need to um, create an application registry uh, with Azure portal. After creating this application registry, go to the rest messages, go to the rest messages, and in the rest messages, we already created a called a group API, graph API. Okay, so under this graph API, after opening the graph API, uh, so you need to select um, authentication type is OAuth 2.0. Already I have selected. Okay, but to check these configurations again, please watch the video how to connect with the Azure portal. I am adding in the description the link of the video. Okay, so once we add it, we need to click on get OAuth token. Uh, to check the connectivity is working or not. Yes, the work token flow completed successfully. Okay, that is uh, okay. So we before we 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 get the users from the Azure portal using get users get method. Now the same way we will uh, try to get uh, groups. Okay, let's create a new HTTP method to get groups. Okay, click on new and create add name like uh, get uh, groups. Okay, uh, yes, it is a get method. And what will the endpoint? The endpoint will be this one. Uh, micro graph dot Microsoft dot com version one point four groups. This is the endpoint to get the groups. Okay, In the authentication. I think uh, it is like uh, inherit from parent. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, that's it. And save it. 
So once you fail and you can click on test to check whether the group you are getting or not. Okay, test it. Click on test. Yes, yeah, I got the HTTP status as 200 and I can see the response like uh, response in the JSON format. And uh, I can see uh, display name is like uh, test group one. Okay. And the other is like uh, test group two. Let's see where it is. See, yeah, test group two. Uh, so there are two groups. We are able to get those two groups. Okay. Now uh, we need to populate this information in um, groups table. How to populate this information in groups table? First, let's go. Let's open the groups. Okay. Let's open the groups. Check there is any test groups or not. Okay. Uh, test name starts with the test. Okay. There is only there is a group called test, but um, we are getting the group called test group one and test group two. Okay. So those two groups are not there. So we need to get those two groups into the group table. How do we get do that? So to do that, we need to create a one schedule job. Okay. We need to create a schedule job. Okay, so on every day it will run on so and so time. It will pull the, all the groups from the Azure portal. Okay, let's see how to do that. Open the schedule jobs. Schedule jobs. Okay, open the schedule jobs. Here. I already created a uh, schedule job to get a uh, group from the Azure portal. Okay, let's see how, how I created it. Okay, so when you uh, name, you can give as as you like, like I have given like to get groups from Azure portal. Okay, and daily when you want to run at one o'clock in the morning so that uh, there will be no traffic. So that's the reason uh, we are running daily at one. So. So this is the code. Uh, I will explain you what it what it will do. Okay. So we are calling the REST messages like graph API. Uh, name of the uh, name of the uh, REST message and name of the method we are calling. Okay. And execute. Okay. This is the function. Okay. And get body and get status code. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how to create uh, this uh, this REST uh, messages or this code you just go to the rest message okay uh, here and go to go back here and here you can see you can click on preview script usage okay so when you click on preview script usage so it will give you try and catch a method you can copy the code like for example this is the code right and uh, this is the code okay so the same code you can use in the uh, schedule job so what we are doing, we are sending the JSON body into J JSON phrase. Okay, we are dividing the object into the arrays. Okay, so first we are checking with the length. Okay, uh, like uh, i is equal to zero, i is less than or equal to length. For example, if you got uh, three uh, three records, the length will be like two. Okay, uh, for example, if you get four records, the length will be like three. Okay, so after that, for each record, like uh, we'll start with zero, one, two, or something like that. For each record, we are going to use the table and we are checking with the user ID, I mean, group ID. The, uh, there we have the ID as a unique field. So, with the help of unique, okay, we are checking to the source, group source, that this uh, group ID is there or not. If it's there, then we are updating the name, email, and description. If not, then we are creating uh, a new group called name, email, description, and source. In source, we are adding the ID and inside. So to get the display name, uh, like object dot value of i dot display name. To get the mail, it's like dot mail. To get the description dot description. Okay, this is the format. So once we created this uh, for the testing purpose, you can click on execute now. 
okay when you click on execute now so the code will run so once the code is run and you go and check the groups table so now you can see test group one and test group two are, are created so you can see the description is copied and the group email is copied and the source like uh, id id of the group is populated so that is how you can uh, pull the group from the azure portal okay um next video we will see how to get group members okay thank you please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time